Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a smart dimmer switch on a home that does not have a neutral wire. So basically, I just installed this um, new light I have right here, and it has 10 G9 LED lights. I wasn't trying to get all of them um, smart because that would uh, affect the Wi-Fi and it just costs too much money. So I decided to make the switch smart. So I ended up, um, previously I got one of these Lutron dimmer switches, but realizing it's not smart. So I had to go pick up a new one and so I ended up picking these up at first. These are Leviton dimmer switches. These are the latest ones at the time, um, but they actually require neutral wire. So that does not work because I only have three wires here. So I'm actually gonna return these and I actually found these online. These are known for creating a smart dimmer switch without using or needing the um, neutral wire. In my opinion, they also look really nice. I actually like the way it's designed. Some people don't, but it's your opinion. Um, to make this work, because it, you know, it doesn't have a neutral wire, you're gonna need a hub. I picked this up too. Um, you just plug this into your modem. Comes with a cord. Next, I'll be unboxing this taking off this switch and uh, showing you how to install it. First step is to shut off the breaker. Next step, we're gonna unscrew the screws and disconnect this. So as you can see, I have the switch taken out. Just a normal three wire switch, no neutral. I have the two lines and then the ground. All right, so I just opened the box. So yeah, it has the two black wires and a ground. Also comes with some hardware, wire nuts some information so exactly how I show you is how it goes you have two of these black wires and you have one green the green goes to the copper which is the ground and the other two any order so this way or that way go to the two other lines it's as easy as it gets All right, so I have it connected to the wall. This is how it looks. Pretty responsive. Click off. It turns off slowly. I actually like that feature. Click it on again. Pretty much instant, so off. Then on. Then to dim it, just hold these down. So yeah, so next I'm gonna be teaching you how to install the bridge. So it's this kit right here. So I'm gonna bring you to the router next. So we're here at my router. Please excuse the mess. It's still in the construction, this place. This is just a temporary video just to see if they're, they work and everything. So you'll need to go to your router and back here, you'll see all these ports, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4. This is a dock uh, router for Xfinity, but um, these are the ports you'll be connecting this to. It's very simple. So you just take the little cable that came with the kit, connect it in here, 
as well as one of the ports that are available in the back. When that's done, you'll also have to power it. So they also give you a power strip, power cord with a micro USB. And what you do is you plug right in there in the center and then your ethernet right there. And this box would be sitting close to or however long the ethernet cable is away from your router. As you can see, it's all connected. I have the power and ethernet connected. Next step would be connecting to the uh, Lutron app. So next, I'll be installing the second switch to this light, which controls that light. So I'll be switching out those switches. All right, so I'm also gonna be replacing this outdoor patio light switch from this old school rocker to a um, Leviton or a Lutron smart switch. All right, so I just disconnected it and I'm gonna check for power after I shut off the breaker, of course. I can't seem to find the ground, it's back there. So, seems like there's a lot of wires in here. I gotta redo all the drywall. Again, I'm just putting these up temporarily. Here's a new Lutron switch. So I just bent this copper line right here so I can make it a ground. I'll be connecting it to that circle screw, just like that. And I'll have to tighten that down. All right. So I have the ground connected. And I have the two lines ready to connect it. Same way as the other switch. So as you can see, I have it all connected. Very simple. Basically the only colored um, wires coming out if you have a wire system that doesn't have a neutral. I actually have a neutral on this wall, but I just figured to have uh, the Lutron system at the entrance and at the back this is the back sliding door so so yeah basically you just connect it with the wire nuts and fold it back into the wall if you can <laughs> all right so i managed to tuck everything inside pretty difficult to do if you just have a single gain box so uh this is a double So I have a little bit more room, but this fits in perfectly now. Just gotta screw it in. And yeah. All right, so that's it. All connected. As you can see, totally dimmable. Amazing. Now all you have to do is connect to the smart app and you can control it with any, um, assistant so that's uh that's pretty much it thanks thanks a lot please subscribe and like the video thank you